Hello and welcome to Stellar Tactics. I'm Shadow Coast and welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to outline five basic tips to help you with your Stellar Tactics playthrough. This game is in early access, so things can change, and I'll do my best to post updated videos if I can. So, tip number one when you open up equipment character information, you can actually switch between characters at the portrait level. It took me a little while to figure this out, but if you want to quickly switch between them, it's in here in the top left. You can actually click to edit your character. Um, so if you want to edit kind of the different voices, images, etc., you can actually do that too. Part of tip number one is actually also reading the UI. The developer is doing a fantastic job and actually if you read some of the fine print it tells you what you can do. So shift clicking items to move to stash, all clicking them, all that stuff. Make sure you kind of take a quick look and read through the different tooltips um, because it will tell you what to do. Also here you can click F1, F2 through 4 or 5, um, however many you can have in your party uh, to also switch between characters when you're equipping or reviewing stats. Tip number two is focus skills. So the way skills work, if you go to the character member uh, menu here on the right, is that if a character is doing something or using something, they will gain skill. So for example, my main character here, Shadow Coast, I want to be a melee tank two-hander. So that means that I'm going to equip and consistently use two-handed weapons because the more I use two-handed weapons the faster my skill levels up now if I click on two-handed melee weapons and click view perks you can see here at different levels I gain additional bonuses and perks to using it so it is very important and tip number two is pick your characters and what skills are going to focus on equip the appropriate weapon or do the appropriate thing to continue building it. Another example here is hacking. So Shadow Coast is my hacker. So whenever I hack, I make sure he is selected or I check mark him as the default to hack. So whenever I hack anything, it's always Shadow Coast. So he's gaining the skills or experience to increase that skill and therefore I can gain my perks and bonuses. So tip number two, review your characters, look at your skills and make sure that you're using that character and uh, having them use that specific skill as often as possible. Tip number three, and I just didn't, I did not realize this, if you click spacebar, you can move to single movement or group movement. So if I want to move one character to position before combat, I just click spacebar for single movement and then if I click group movement again it regroups them so spacebar will switch between single and group movement so keep that in mind that's tip number three tip number four and I did not realize this if you right click on grenades so medkits and grenades in the bottom left here if you right click you can select what you're using so this is a particularly important for grenades because you're gonna have different types of grenades you're gonna want to use um, so if you right click with the mouse you can open up and then select which one you want to use so make sure you right click to select grenades on that note I was talking about skills if I want to heal out of combat if I left click here I can then select now the person applying the healing is the portrait you have selected so if I want shadow coast to focus on healing or first aid and get these perks which are going to be important long term I have to make sure he's selected out of combat and then click on whoever I'm healing so he gets the appropriate experience for that finally when we enter combat you can actually target different pieces of the enemy's body depending on the enemy type so we're going to initiate combat here the enemy is going to run here we're fighting some slice mutants so you can see here, depending on where I rotate, I can target different parts of the body. So this single torso, that's going to be a pretty big target, so I have a higher hit percent chance. So make sure you do that. If you right click on the enemy, it gives you information on the damage you can deal um, to the different parts of the body. Um, and then you can also see different resistances and other things um, from that perspective if you right click. So make sure you target the part of the body you want because that can impact the hit chance, especially when using ranged weapons. So hopefully you found these five tips helpful. If you did, please drop a thumbs up and hope that you enjoy your Cellar Tactics playthrough. Shadow Coast out.